Hello and welcome to this ANSYS video tutorial on the Red Hawk graphical user interface and some of its common features. Let us take a quick look at the Red Hawk GUI's topography. This here is the menu bar, the primary display area, the log display, the tickle command console, the view and navigate options, layer select, setting color range, power and ground pad display, the various maps, object query, property and clear, navigation coordinates and the design display. Clicking on the file tab from the menu bar, we can import design data, database, export database, etc. From the edit tab, we can perform various fix and optimization steps interactively like adding or deleting pads, power straps, vias, decap cells, etc. We can also use a ruler option to make any measurements. Using the view tab, we can highlight disconnected instances or wires tab, wires or vias using the connectivity tab. For example, clicking on the highlight disconnected instances, we can view the various disconnected instances in this design. Also from the connectivity tab, we can generate a list of missing vias, shorts or power grid weaknesses. The various maps can be viewed from the view tab, for example the power maps, the resistance maps, the voltage drop maps, current maps, EM maps. Since we have performed a dynamic voltage drop analysis, we can also view the dynamic instance DVD maps, for example max effective voltage over the timing window, min effective voltage over the timing window, average effective voltage over the timing window and the min effective voltage over the whole cycle. This for example the min effective voltage over the whole cycle map. We can also customize the maps in this plane by clicking on map configuration in the view button customization. Using the results tab, we can generate the log message viewer for a quick analysis, a quick summary of the analysis. For example, using the errors or warning summary tab, we can view the various warnings or errors at each step in this analysis. Using the CPU or memory and usage tab, we can view for each step in this analysis what is the memory usage, total CPU time and wall time. Using the setup design tab, we can view whether there are any errors or warnings associated with input files. For example, the files in green have no errors or warnings. The files in orange have warnings but no errors, while the files in red definitely have errors but perhaps and also perhaps warnings. Clicking on the power tab, we can take a quick look at the power analysis summary. For example, based on each frequency domain or voltage domains, what is the total power contribution, the different power components associated. We can also view for each cell type, what is the total power contribution, the different power components. Also, the total chip power, total clock network power, etc. Picking on the results tab, we can view a quick summary of the type of analysis performed. For example, here we have performed the dynamic voltage drop analysis, so we can take a quick look at the worst dynamic voltage drop summary, the worst drop on the VD net, the worst drop on the VSS, the average timing window, max over the timing window, min over the timing window, min over the whole cycle, worst drops. Using the results tab, we can also take a look at the list of worst instance DVD amongst other features. For example, when we sort this list based on the min effective voltage over the timing window, click on apply. Now this list is sorted by the instances which have had the maximum drop over the min over timing window sorting. This is the worst instance 
clicking on zoom we can zoom into the red aqui at view this instance using the properties tab we can view the different properties of this instance for example the cell type location charge toll charge the frequency of this instance toggle rate etc the switching status we clicking on the waveform we can view the effective voltage of this instance using the minrest path we can trace the path to the closest power or ground pad from this instance a very beneficial feature of the red hot gui is the multiple pages feature using this feature we can simultaneous view simultaneously view up to four different maps or lists for example suppose we want to view the wire or via current map the power density map the instance frequency map and the min effective voltage over the timing window map we can view up to four of these maps together this can be very beneficial for any root cause debug for hotspots etc using the multiple pages feature we can also view up to four lists simultaneously of the results for example the list of worst ir4 in wires in vs list of disconnected instances pg weakness of instance or list of say higher highest power instances or missing vias these were some of the common features of the red hawk graphical user interface thanks for listening to this tutorial goodbye